Graham, to uh, our viewers, spectators that do not know you, please introduce yourself and uh, explain where you are and what you are doing here. Oh, certainly. Um, so my name is Graham Bentley. I'm uh, a rail engineer from Oricon. So I've been out, invited to come out to the Skyway test facility today and witness the inaugural operation of the, um, the Unibike that we saw operating outside. And uh, what are your impressions after you saw it uh, in it in operation? Yeah, well, it, it, it was very impressive. Um, it was very smooth. Um, there was very low levels of sand there, and we understand that there's uh, still development with the track structure ongoing, um, and it's um, it's going to be the noise is going to be suppressed. But yes, it, it was very impressive indeed. What about the? Uh experimental uh, production shop that you have already visited yeah um, in terms of manufacturing facilities it was it was a very good environment um, the people there were very informative there was good uh, lean processes to be seen um, and it was it was generally a very very uh, structured tour so yeah very impressive actually and the modules that we saw there as well in sort of final stages of completion uh, it, lots of innovation which is very refreshing Thank you. Uh, do you see a potential for our technology uh, in your native country? Yeah, so it, it's interesting you mention that. So, I mean, in the applications that Skyway has in terms of urban applications, in terms of high speed applications, in terms of freight or cargo applications, Australia has many requirements for many of those um, those applications and those solutions as well. So whether it be iron ore, whether it be intermodal freight, there's a, there's an absolute market there for an innovative cargo solution. Urban design, um, Australia is starting to accelerate its light rail usage now, but the Skyway system, um, if, if it's realised in terms of lower capital costs and lower operating costs, then there's great potential there for it as well. And even the third application in terms of high speed, there are many uh, studies going on in Australia which um, are looking to deploy a high speed rail system between Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne. So again, there's a great opportunity there for it. So from what we've seen so far, um, obviously there's some way to go, but very much it's, it's developed and, and it's a fully tested and proven local system at the moment in Belarus. So, yeah. Thank you very much and uh, I wish uh, all of us uh, fruitful and mutually beneficial cooperation in the future. Thank you. Thank you.